So I'm just going to start it right now. I'm going to start the stream off with that. There was a massive, massive, massive Apex leak on Reddit today. And uh, it's all verified stuff because the person who leaked it uh, literally posted proof. Screenshots, video, this stuff is uh, indisputable. Yo, Mark, what's up, man? Thanks for the bits. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you come join me on Twitch to catch content like this. Uh, and if you're watching it on YouTube, also so like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment your most exciting, uh, what you're most excited about in this Apex Legends leak. So I'm going to show you guys, we're going to go through it bit by bit, everything that was leaked. We have, I think, nine new legends, a new map, uh, new weapons, everything. Like, to so much stuff came out today. So let's just get right into it. I just want to jump right in. So all this was leaked onto Reddit. Uh, there's a lot of controversy, obviously, because um, you know, leaks can steal developers' thunder and such. But it's out there. It's being discussed by, like, every major uh, esports outlet and stuff. Th this is a leak that you can't put back in the box. This is virtually everything. So I'm going to start going over uh, some of this stuff and show you guys. So this is Newcastle. Uh, this is the, probably the next legend. This one's already been leaked. He's got a model in the game. That means he's basically finished. Not all these models, uh, not all these characters have models yet. So, um, you know, like some of them are just like literally like dummies, but their abilities are all put there. Also, bear in mind, these abilities could change. Uh, this is probably leaked from a test from test builds and so on. So here's a photo of Newcastle right here. Uh, I'm going to find his, where's his abilities? Newcastle. Okay, so this dude is a defense legend. Uh, Newcastle is a support legend that specializes in protecting allies, yo Frank, with shields and keeps them safe after they've been downed. Probably why they took this ability away from Lifeline to give it to Newcastle. Passive. Retrieve the wounded. Drag down to allies as you revive and protect them with a revive shield. So you'll be able to kind of pull somebody out of the way and it'll pull, I'm assuming it will automatically pull a shield up since it's a passive ability. Uh, tactical, mobile shield. Throw a controllable drone that creates a moving energy shield. So a mobile shield of some kind. And then ultimate, castle wall. Leap and slam to a target ally or area to create a fortified stronghold. This one scares me a little bit. Um, reminds me a little too much of Fortnite building. But basically, you're going to fly to an area, put up a wall of some kind. And I don't know how long it's going to last. Will it take damage? Like a rampart shield or a wall? Uh, exactly, Chica. It's going to help people who the lifeline drone is reviving you in a random spot because the lifeline wasn't that smart. I guess, you know, they revived you, but you're in a bad spot and you get finished. Well, uh, Newcastle is going to be able to drag you out of the way while they're reviving you, which is nice. So that is Newcastle. That's this dude right here. Likely the next legend. Uh, so we're talking next season, which is uh, not that far off. What is it? Maybe like two months away. We got so much to go over, guys. So much. Um, okay, next legend. Uh, this one's called Uplink. Let me read his to you or hers because we don't know yet. Uplink is a support legend that can boost consumable effects and even prevent teammates from going down temporarily. This reminds me of that, uh, what's that character from Overwatch? Uh, anyway, here we go. Gain 25% recovery effects used in signal range. That's his passive. I have no idea what that means. Uh, tactical shield. This is his tactical. Shield satellite, I'm sorry. Release a satellite that follows allies to regenerate their shields and revive. Baptiste, there you go. What's up, Miss Tilly? How you doing, man? Uh, so this will actually follow somebody and uh, regenerate their shields, kind of like uh, kind of like uh, Watson's ultimate, uh, the one aspect of Watson's ultimate. But it's a tactical, not an ult. Then Uplink's other ability, remember, this all could change. Their ult, Immortality Relay Beacon, destroyable satellite beacon that prevents allies in a signal area from being downed. Uh, I don't know. This has obviously got to be a short period of time. Uh, it, it, this thing can't stay up forever, or it's going to be really easy to kill, like very low HP or something. But it will basically prevent people from being down, which could be... Um, it'll, it'll be super interesting. Um, 
how they implement this into the game. Uh, next up, Vantage. She actually has a model. So likely another legend coming somewhat soon, probably after Newcastle. Uh, Vantage is the sniper legend that was leaked. No, the, the Revenant ultimate is you touch the, the alt and then you, you, you can absorb 100 damage and then it sends you back. This will literally prevent you from getting downed. Um, similar concept, though. Uh, so this is the sniper survivalist vantage, the girl here. It looks kind of like, uh, looks like a mix of May from Overwatch and, uh, oh, what's the tank girl with the big beam? Gosh, I can't remember. Uh, anyway, passive. Tactical info available in ADS unarmed or any long range scopes. Legend name, shield rarity, team size, or range. So basically looking at an enemy, Zarya, there you go. Through your ADS with this sniper will give you a lot of information before you even shoot. What their shield is, how many people are left alive on their team, and how far away they are. Tactical, echo launch. Launch towards your winged companion, Echo. Who's your wing companion? Echo. Order Echo by tapping Q. Launch to Echo by Echo must be like a drone of some kind. Or bird? Bird. I bet you it's a bird. So you can kind of pull yourself towards it with your tactical. Uh, so you put, put it down, the bird or whatever, it's going to fly around, and then you can actually get sucked towards it if you choose to. Could go bad, could go good, right? Ultimate Mark to Kill, a custom rifle which scans enemies and boosts damage for Vantage and her squad. Uh, damage doubles for Vantage on successive shots. So each shot in a row, guessing this is going to be like a sniper rifle or a uh, DMR kind of thing, marksman. Uh, your damage will double, which is pretty insane. It is an ult. Team gets 15% bonus on marked targets. So if you mark this person with your ultimate, uh, your team will do more damage to that person, and uh, you will do double damage to that person with each shot. So this is going to be like, if you get hit with this, you're basically going to have to stay out of the fight. Like, you're, you're so vulnerable, you're going to have to stay undercover or you're in big, 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 big trouble. So that's Vantage. This leak had so much in it, guys. Catalyst, creative builder. Oh, no, got another Fortniter. Catalyst is a character capable of creating platforms and walls with their abilities, providing useful cover for the squad. With the ramps and the walls and the shield. Anyway, uh, passive, reinforced, standing near your pharaoh fluid structures, doors, and other legends placeables will strengthen their integrity and allow them to take significantly more damage. So I'm guessing this dude uh, near, it says other uh, Legends placeables. So I'm thinking Watson fences, uh, Rampart walls, Newcastle's alt there. Anything placeable, I guess. I don't know if caustic traps would apply. Watson alt? I don't know. Uh, her passive, or his or her passive, Catalyst, uh, improves, gives them more health. So this is like a, a camp camping camping meta character uh and her tactical his or her tactical pharaoh shot on impact the shot creates a ramp of hardened pharaoh fluid that can can be extended with more shots so you can literally build a ramp with this thing can be used to create platforms on walls you can literally build with this uh max of three structures so you can somehow actually build uh, almost Fortnite style with this character. Don't know how fast it'll be. Don't know, um, you know, how crazy you can get with it, but you can build three structures. So Fortnite players are all going to come to Apex. Fortnite just took out building. Apex adds it. This, is, th this character could be a year off or more, and these could also change. And the ultimate, Iron Tower. Pharaoh fluid rises up from below, pushing you upwards while creating a tall, solid column under you. So basically this is gonna push you up in the air. Like it like, it's gonna rise you up off. I don't know how high it's gonna go, but it's gonna give you high ground, artificial high ground. I don't know how long it's gonna last. I don't know 
they won't add four characters. They'll stretch this out forever. Apex does not do surprise content drops, like ever. I would love it if they dropped two characters in a season or something, or two weapons, but they won't. Um, so that's pretty cool. I, I do like that. Oh, that's an interesting thought. Uh, is this Phantom? And all these names could change as well. Phantom, Agile Assassin. Phantom is a mobile legend with a combination of abilities similar to Pathfinder, Wraith, and Octane. Double jump, passive. I'm sold. I'm going Phantom. Pressing the jump button while in the air allows you to jump again. Tactical, hook shot. Hook to a wall and hang off of it for a short time. So not wall run, but hook to it and stop. And then hang from it. I like this one. I like this guy already. Or girl. Ultimate, Void Grenade. A grenade that sends hit players to a void for a short period of time. So if you hit somebody with this, they're basically pulled out, like, almost like the Wraith's ult. They get sucked into another world where they're going to be useless to their team. Is what it sounds like to me. That character sounds really, really, really freaking good to me. Um, Phantom sounds amazing. Jester. Tricky Trapper. Oh, boy. Gotta drink some G Fuel here. Don't forget to use G Fuel code Mayor to support the channel, guys. By the way, I now have um, Crimson Tears arriving at my house soon, as well as the Sage Mode uh, cans. So get ready for those reviews. Jester is a legend that can cloak themselves and their teammates, as well as set traps for unsuspecting enemies to walk into. So a stealth character. Passive. Jester can turn any grenade into a proximity mine that sticks to surfaces. Makes sense. Uh, tactical. Call in a drop pod with three specters to guard an area. Are these NPCs? Only one set can be active at a time. Are specters NPCs? Like soldiers? I don't know. Ultimate. Cloak field. Creates a short-lived cloak device that hides all players in an area, lasts for six seconds. So you could take your team, cloak them, and they're gone, missing for six seconds. I don't know if you can move while this, this thing is active, like while the cloak is active or not. I think if you could move, that'd be OP, probably. Um, but we'll find out. Caliber, dude, there's so many. This leak is ginormous. Caliber is an offensive legend that is capable of storing a third weapon, whoo, creating turrets and providing ammo for their squad. This seems a little crazy. Passive, a, a sling where you can store a third weapon. Tactical, suppressor turret. Deploy a makeshift turret from a copy of your active weapon. This is kind of weird because it takes, I doubt, it's not going to be as good as Sheila, but it takes a book right out of uh, Ramparts, uh, you know. Page right out of Rampart's book. That's what I'm going to say. Ult Ultimate. Autoloader. Deploy a box that feeds ammo directly into nearby players' weapons. I'm guessing this means you're, if you, as long as you don't shoot too fast, or I don't know how long this lasts. It's, it's automatically going to reload your, um, automatically going to reload your weapons, or just passively put, like, one or two or three bullets at a time back into your gun as you fire. I don't know how it'll be balanced. Scryer. Uh, here's this dude here. Scryer looks like a recon legend that is capable of looking into enemy perspectives and setting traps. Passive. Spectator. Automatically optic hunt and spectate your killer. Automatically optic hunt? What the hell does that mean? That's a bizarre uh, concept. I guess this means... If your squad is still alive, you can like you can follow the person who kills you and then give intel to your squad. Uh, tactical optic haunt. Deploy a parasite trap that reveals the target's vision. So apparently you can see what your target is looking at as well uh, while you're still alive. And then alt. I don't like the passive. You 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 die. I mean it's an interesting concept, but your passive is only useful after you're dead. Uh, ultimate shadow wall unleash a creeping wall of darkness that blocks sight and binds enemies I mean it's basically a Bangalore smoke 
It, did, it doesn't bind enemies. They better freaking buff Bangalore smoke with this thing. I mean, this is only an ult. This is an ultimate compared to Bangalore's tactical. But if this thing actually blocks sight, it better actually block sight and not have, you know, Bloodhound scanning through it, Crypto Jones scanning through it, Ash damage scanning through it, Sears Q, Q tacting, you know, hitting through it. Uh, who is this? I can't read the name. Conduit, I think. I think I went past that one already. Here, here we go. Con Conduit. Empathetic Shielder. Oh, here we go. We got an empathetic one. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, Conduit appears to be a support legend that focuses on regenerating allied shields at the expense of their own. That's interesting. Passive. Conduit regenerates shields over time and gains extra regen for each nearby ally. Again, taking a page right from Watson's book. Um... I like the idea, but I'm not sure how to balance that and just not make that automatically better than Watson. Watson's uh, tactical arc flash heals the shields of targeted allies at the cost of some of her own. This is an interesting concept. This is like blessing of sacrifice in World of Warcraft, where you can, you know, hey, one of your you one of your friends is about to is about to go down, but you still have full health. You can use your tactical to give them. I don't know how much is it going to be. Twenty five health. Uh, or a shield 50 shield you will lose that amount on your shield but you might save their life in the process so very interesting uh character somebody playing this character has to use that very intelligently because they can use it and uh you know if they just killed end up killing themselves instead i mean is that really a worthwhile trade it'll be interesting to see that um you can't literally kill yourself but you know if you put yourself at a disadvantage because oh have my shield and then you just use down some guy that was gonna die anyway and then you go down because you hurt your own shield interesting ultimate alternating current conduit launches an arc cluster bomb damaging the shields of people near the blasts this heals conduits shield based on the damage dealt that's really cool this is a high risk high reward uh character this conduit so let's say your shield is almost broke but then you hit uh, a, a whole squad with your ultimate. Not only are you going to damage them, but you're going to heal yourself. I love lifesteal abilities and like in RPGs and stuff. Love them. So this character, Conduit, is interesting to me as well. Uh, and I believe that was the last legend. Um, so we've gone over all of them. What else we got here? Uh, a capture the flag mode was apparently leaked. I'm reading the article on Deserto, by the way. We don't know when it's coming. We don't know when any of this stuff is coming, to be clear. Um, we got weapons to go over and show off because we got footage of all this stuff. Uh, there's a new firing range mode coming. That's, that's, that's fine. That's not that exciting, but it's okay. Uh, but one of the, the flag for capture the flag. So some type of CTF mode is being worked on. I don't know what's oh that's why oh I got a Call of Duty Black Ops uh, image here. It makes no sense. Uh, there's an uh, an heirloom. A look at uh, Velk's heirloom. There you go. So there's Cryptos. It's the, his the katana like thing. Which to be honest, the color scheme of the katana sucks. I think having that ugly green around it, it looks like Buzz Lightyear garbage uh where's Valk? this it nope i mean the katana certainly looks cool but this is this is an early version of Valk's. looks like some type of spear it's not finished yet obviously but it's some type of trident or spear um there we go. We got some unreleased weapons. This is going to be fun. Let's let's look at these. So this one is called uh, right now. It's called Scorpion C80. And I can't tell what the Scorpion C is. Is that the model? I don't think is finished. Hold on. Let me let me read you the, the description of the weapons. Um, so this, it looks like a Havoc with arrows on it right now, but I don't think that's going to be the final model. 
Scorpion C80. It's like, okay, this is a bow. It, it literally has the... It's, ne it's next to the bow. It's like a full auto bow? Like some type of crossbow? I feel like that's shooting way too fast, though. What was that little... That's like, gotta be like the grenade launcher that people were talking about. This is the Maelstrom, the light ammo uh, LMG. The uh, the kick on it seems high, which makes sense. This has been leaked before. This th this looks done. The gun looks done. Like the model is finished. Or close to it, at least. Wait, wait, wait. What was some of that? I thought I saw some new hop-ups there, too. Let me, let me watch. I'm going to try to slow it down. Laser sight. There it is. Everybody said it's not true. It's not true. And I kept saying it's true. It's true. Uh, moderate hip fire agree spread reduction. I can't read this. Laser is only visible to allies. Laser sights effing confirmed. Different variations of it. Yep. For real. It was real. Told you. Shoot the thing. Okay, so he's putting some... The kick on it is still pretty wild. It has a huge magazine as a light ammo uh, LMG should. Does, the, does that energy bow? Here we go. Nemesis burst rifle. This one also looks finished. This is a, a, a burst rifle. I mean, it's supposed to be a burst rifle, but it looks like it's shooting full auto. Unless he's clicking really fast. I like the way the gun looks for sure. hitting pretty hard hmm toggle infinite ammo thank god that's in Let's see what he uses next there's some charge up mechanic is that does that help you shoot at full auto Finet oh I told y'all dual wielding with certain weapons is gonna come. And this looks pretty interesting. Uh, Fanatic Pistol. I feel like it'll only be for that gun though. You, you can shoot them independently, which is interesting. It looks very similar to the P2020. Was there a charge shot mechanic in there too, I believe? Yes, there is. You can charge it to increase the damage. Can you imagine hiding behind a corner with those charging it up and then coming around and then that'd be a strong finisher kind of thing. Up close, finishing move, so to speak. What else we got? Gemini. Another uh, energy SMG? That seems kind of weird. Because we have the Volt already. It's also using an R99 model, which is fine. Anything else in here? Just going to keep using the Gemini. I think that's basically yeah that's the that's the end of that um there's some new skins that leaks and everything this isn't is this even the same article i can't tell uh let me go to the actual apex uh the, the reddit that a lot of this was found on um all upcoming legends, their abilities. We saw that one. Yes, I will link the article.
Uh, upcoming leaks with gameplay part two. Reinforcing. Okay, so there's also footage of the uh, legend abilities being used. There's still more stuff being leaked, which is insane. This is, uh, look at this character's face. That's, I like that character model. Who is that? that? That's not Phantom. That was, that was Catalyst, I think. Now he's gonna switch to the warrior. Where's the double jump? The warrior, not the, not the warrior, the assassin. So much leak. That's the, which one is that? That's the void grenade, I think. That's the wall. Uh, he didn't stick though. He just, he just jumped off immediately. That's the void grenade. Is that Newcastle's all, I wonder? That's the NPC one, probably. This, what do they call them? Stalkers or not stalkers? No, maybe that's the ammo box. I can't tell. The thing that feeds ammo automatically. That's the invisibility, so you can move outside of it once it's deployed. Confirmed. Who's this? This has got to be that ballistic thing that charges your shield up. I had to guess. That's the turret of copying your gun. Yeah, it's not that good. It would just be a distraction. It'll be annoying. That's the ammo box, obviously. Wow, this dude went all out. There's uh, some new skins that got leaked, all of which look pretty good. The new map is called Divided Moon, and here's a look at it. This is, we all said it's a moon map. It's been leaked for ages. It looks kind of smaller, which I like. There's also, I believe this is open space. So a lot of like, you could fall through the map, maybe. maybe, maybe no, maybe those are walls. I can't tell. I can't tell if that's uh, mountains you can't land on top of, like choke point walls or... But based on what, how it looks now, it looks like there are less jump locations than a, uh, a lot of other maps. So this could be a little bit smaller, more like a King's Canyon style map. I like that this side is all like, it looks like a moon, but then this side looks like a little more, uh, you know, developed, grass, settled, I guess. And it's also called Divided Moon. Makes sense. Divided. Uh, we saw all the weapons. Return of... This is interesting, too. And I don't know what, how this relates. But if you look here, Skulltown is back. And it looks like it's back on... Uh, on King's Canyon. Um... Maybe re redesigned, I'm hearing? Because there's the skull. It's also got a big wall around it. So maybe it, that will reduce the amount of third parties coming into Kings Canyon from like, you know, market. And is this, it, yeah, there's Octane's, uh, does this may mean that salvage is going away? Because there's, the, there's Stink Town. And uh, yeah, I mean, please. Please bring Skull Tom back. Uh, here's some of the skins. Blah blah blah. Bangalore Prestige skin. 
So this is a skin that will level up. Dude, there's so much here. It's insane. Like the Bloodhound skin that just came out. Like a evolving skin. I guess that's the way I refer to it. It's with the hair, man. It made me look old. <clears throat> oh, no, wait, she gets a helmet in that one. I does it say there's five images? Because there is. Roster and dev version. So you'll be able to see all the different. Oh, you can see their faces down here. Let's check this out. Some of these definitely aren't finished. Uh, Newcastle, right there. Can you see that? It's my uplink. Looks pretty, looks like me, basically. You guys can't see it. There you go. Vantage, we've seen her. Catalyst, looks the, that model is close to finished. She's gonna have a lot of fans. Phantom, looks a little bit too much like Octane. I don't think that's finished. Jester has none, and Calibers is literally uh, used right now. Oh, Scryer, right there. Looks pretty cool. Looks a lot like Baptiste, actually. Uh, and then Conduit has, has nothing. ATM. Some new, more new skins, dude. You can actually see, again, this is unfinished, but there's uh, divided moon screenshots. This is the biggest, this is one of the biggest leaks uh, for a game of this size in quite some time. I like the way it looks. This looks too much like Olympus. This part. Um, there is a big gap there. There's kind of an overhead view as you're dropping in. Again, map's not finished. So, you know, could change. Respawn's got to be freaking pissed. I like that you can see some, like, space junk out here. There's another overhead view, which I like. Another one. Is there even more? There can't be more. Bangalore lore. Uh oh. Story spoilers. Um. Bye bye mill. Apparently, is there a place called Mill on, uh, I can't even remember. Some giant freaking creature that fell on, uh, Storm Point. Can you go inside it? That'd be interesting. Go in the mouth and fight in it. Uh, there's a bunch of skins that have been, that have been released. New arena maps. Uh, a bunch of them. Holy crap, guys. It goes on and on. R301, according to this, cannot have a, a 3 or a 2-4 anymore, or a standard stock. What the heck? New leaked attachment. Laser sight, like I told you guys. We gotta be getting towards the end here. The CTF. CTF has its own maps, apparently. Interesting. New map gameplay. Dude, there's just so much. I guess if you want to see more, like you just got to head to to Reddit. This video can't literally go on forever, but there's like an infinite amount of content here. And I, and I think what's going to, uh, what's going to be difficult. Return of Skull Town, no top of cage. <gasps> top of cage is my favorite. How could they do this? And some choke point improvements. Where's Skulltown? There's a lot of weapon skins in here. Holy crap, guys. Mill completely reworked with big dead Pokemon to play inside of. You can play inside it. 
northern side and eastern side getting some new buildings um dude events got leaked uh holy moly yeah this is crazy guys that, that i'm gonna call it there the video is already like a half hour long i think so go check out everything there's an endless amount of stuff here and uh, if you like the video make sure you subscribe to the channel come join me on twitch uh let me know what you think about the leak and all the stuff coming up and uh thanks for watching the stream's gonna go on now <laughs>